Thursday, Thursday, the 18th of January. Hope everybody had an absolutely amazing trading day. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson, welcoming you to the Daily Market Commentary. For those of you new to the channel, we do the same thing every day. We take a look at about 10 to 12 futures markets, take a look at see what uh, what's causing some of these turning points and where some of these turning points or breakouts may be. Uh, the key here is we keep the lines on the charts so that it holds us all accountable to placing good trade. So let's go ahead and roll right into it. Um, getting started first with the S&P. So the S&P today got a little bounce off of our level. So the level uh, that we had talked about uh, was this little area right in here, uh, a little bit of a basing before a strong move up. We said that was going to be a pretty good area. Today, we got a nice little three to one move out of that. I'm actually at this point going to remove that area. I think that we've gotten all the move we're going to get out of it. So hopefully some of you are able to take a little bit of profit off the table on that area. Um, you know, that right through here, I think that, that it could hold, uh, but in reality, I think your your next better opportunity for a short-term trade is going to come in to play down here. Uh, and so you've got to start to look at, uh, at this area down here as a better opportunity going forward. I will say that last night I tweeted it out. It was about nine o'clock at night. I'm laying in bed and I said, you know, this is really, um, I saw this pattern starting to form, which was, this, uh, you know, kind of a wedge, I'll call it, where we were getting higher and higher and higher. And so I put in a long to get long above this area and unfortunately never got filled. And I, I, joke, I jokingly uh, call that a Santa Claus trade. And it's called a Santa Claus trade because you either wake up with uh, a present in your stocking or a lump of coal. In this case, I woke up and realized that Santa didn't even eat my milk. Uh, it did. I never got filled on the trade. So no big deal, no nothing lost. And then the other, the reversal trade was still in play. So it overall um, was a was a good non-take, but I still think there's a, there's a breakout potential here. I actually like the breakout as well that is showing up potentially in the NASDAQ. So both of these markets are showing uh, potential breakout strategies uh, is setting up. Now, remember what causes a potential breakout. It is that area being hit multiple times and that area showing some more strength kind of coming in um to that you know to that area but unable to penetrate it so we go up fairly strong we can't penetrate it we touch it touch it touch it you know the more uh, more often that we touch it that we don't break through the stronger that it becomes now i will say that today uh most of the afternoon we we, we had a little bit of a sell-off here uh, in our markets but from an hourly chart perspective um, and I need to change this color here to purple. Remember that our purple levels always have a slighter degree uh, of lower probability because it's on uh, found on a smaller time period. Uh, NASDAQ. So we still have our area in the NASDAQ. This was our, uh, our area that we uh, had caught back sometime last week. Got a really nice run out of it. Nothing else has really shown up. I'm okay putting the breakout uh, area in play here in the NASDAQ. A uh, above our all-time high. Um, and like I said, I'd much rather you buy an all-time high than short one. You know, somebody in, in the on the Twitter post last night said, is this a test? Um, no, not a test. I'm actually okay buying, buying the all-time high with the right setup. And the right setup is consolidation and basing before a breakout. Crude oil. Let's take a look at crude oil. So crude oil, we had a really close uh, close call on our entry. The area is still valid. We're going to leave this area in place. Nothing else really to add on crude. Um, gold, we still have our area in play on gold. So both of these trades uh, seem to be working out. In gold, you may get a little bit of a breakdown out of this area here. So keep an eye on a breakdown uh, potential short. Uh, if you wanted to, you could even use maybe the 15-minute chart uh, and, uh, and, and if you wanted to get short now, you certainly have that as a, uh, as an option really just based on this long, um, expanded range candle that we have here, which got lower than this previous candles low. Uh, and if we do break through here, I think that could continue to fall. So gold is setting up for a little bit of a breakdown. Looking at the bonds, uh, bond market, we had had a nice setup in the bond market, which didn't happen. Uh, the markets gave us, uh, you know, we had a little bit of hope and it just did not uh, get to that area. That area is still valid. We're going to leave it in play, uh, but nowhere near it at the moment. 
The Aussie, we're not anywhere near our Aussie level. That would need to fall significantly further for us to get filled on the Aussie. Uh, and then same thing happens in the Euro. So you can see that all of our currencies are going to look a lot like that. After the weakness that we had in the dollar and the subsequent rise in the currencies, it, we've gotten pretty far away from a decent buying opportunity. So I will tell you, for most of my currency opportunities, I've been on the sidelines uh, for the last couple of days just because I don't want to force it, right? If it comes into our area and we get a good trade, great. But if not, I'm not going to force it. I'm going to wait for price to come to me. Um, that's it's, it's all about following your plan, right? Hashtag trade the plan. Uh, great British Pound is giving us a slightly better setup. Uh, and I would be okay with somebody looking at the British Pound for a potential breakout long. I think this is, uh, you know, with those with those higher swing lows and we've got a little, you know, topping out right here we get break, break out above here i think there's room in the pound to continue to go higher so that being said i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna turn this thing off for today i know it's a very short video but not a whole lot new of new stuff to cover um and as far as new opportunities i think your best opportunities are probably going to be some of these reversals that we have identified in the s p as well as the breakouts uh in those uh, in those highs until tomorrow always remember keep your profits protected thanks everybody i'll talk to you soon, soon.